Welcome to this presentation on Breast Cancer Overview, brought to you by the Philips Learning Center. The full e-learning course on Breast Cancer Overview can be found at the onlinelearningcenter.com under the Diseases and Conditions section of the course catalog. The learning activity is designed to give the healthcare professional a general overview of breast cancer. Upon completion of the full course found in the course catalog at the Learning Center, the participant will be able to describe the basic forms of breast cancer and understand its various stages of development. Additionally, there is a review of the most common detection techniques, including self-examination, and a discussion on the ever-expanding variety of imaging technologies. Finally, there is an introduction to what surgical and drug treatment options are available. Cancer is most likely to manifest itself in either the breast ducts or lobules. Breast cancer is either non-invasive or in situ, a term used for an early form of cancer that is confined to the site of origin, or invasive, which means infiltrating or spreading. Cancer cells from invasive breast cancer are most commonly spread to other parts of the body through the lymph channels to the lymph nodes under the arm. Once the cancer cells reach these lymph nodes, they continue to grow and cause the nodes to swell. Most invasive cancers are classified as ductal or lobular, but there are other types that exist such as medullary, mucinous, papillary, and tubular. Monthly self-examination is a woman's first line of defense against breast cancer. It is recommended that every woman over the age of 18 practice self-examination. Mammography has been described as today's gold standard in the struggle to detect breast cancer before it can spread. There are two basic types of mammography screening, and diagnostic. Mammography is a high-resolution technique that is best suited for identifying subtle masses, calcifications, and architectural distortions. Once identified, suspect lesions must be diagnosed as benign or malignant. In breast cancer, there are three basic types of biopsies done to remove enough tissue to make that determination. Fine Needle Aspiration Biopsy, FNA, Core Needle Biopsy, and Open Surgical Biopsy, Excisional and Incisional. For some women, the mammogram reveals a mass that must be diagnosed further. Ultrasonography is especially helpful in distinguishing between a fluid-filled cyst and a dense mass. Unique technical abilities are the driving force behind the rapid clinical acceptance of magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. Breast MRI is a non-invasive procedure that uses no ionizing radiation and uses no radioactivity. Probably the most promising and viable new technology is digital imaging coupled with computer-aided diagnosis. Digital mammography uses computers and specially designed detectors to produce an image of the breast that can be displayed on high-resolution monitors. The treatment for breast cancer varies according to the stages. Treatments include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, reconstructive therapy, The full course for Breast Cancer Overview can be found on the Phillips Learning Center under the course category, Diseases and Conditions.